didn't think highly of women at all. Women here always the, the um be derogatory with them. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, want me people? Hope everybody in okay. Hope everybody in all right. So hold on there a minute. Who know they really feel like Seth Town kill Levi? Me that come come pick up phone. No, 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 no. All me need to do for do, I tell me all that who did there, so me can direct the police in any direction. Said what I said and I mean what I said and I mean not take it back. Who no need for go? All that who be out there. Hold on a minute there now, people. Police, me have a favor. One favor me have a good one. Who no see the little hostage man who have behind prison on a mobile? Who no need for let him out so he can continue where he start? You see, the more me listen to the lunatic, the major look at the organization there. Because that is not a church. You understand? Yes, people, that is not a church. Me see, say, all of them deserve what was coming to them. Yeah, people, every single one of them. But I soon reach right there, so, and I soon go back over St. Thomas. But because I start the news, right as so of us people. The grandson of the elderly woman who was found dead at her home in Allside District in Trelawney on Monday, October 18, has been charged with murder. He has been identified as 26-year-old Jerome Powell, otherwise called man. Reports from the police at about 12.15 a.m., Powell reported to the police station that he discovered his godmother's body in her bed covered with blood. The police responded. On their arrival, Walcott was found with multiple laceration all over her body. Who not understand them, I just say, it's simple. All them I say is multiple stab wounds all over the body. The crime scene was processed and the body was removed to the morgue. The police said, Powell was taken into custody and a question and answer session was conducted on Monday, October 18. During the session, Powell reportedly confessed that he killed his grandmother. He was then charged. Hold on a minute now. Can no fan come come talk about this a boy I forget bail or this a boy I forgot prison for life. A boy like this one want to get bail. A boy like this one want to go to prison go sit down and eat food no money. No, 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 no. Boy like this you under dirt. Boy like this fi under dirt. Remember granny almost kick him up to them. Never have to take granny life, you know. A full time now, some of them have stop pick up for little crosses, picking them on half. Who no know them involved in a wrongdoing, but yet still, who no feel like say, them must see it. Listen to this, I'm on now. Never know him as this, like him as a raper either. But me know saying, take what they little picking them and go and pick bread food. I mean, I'm not Everybody know. When in the there's a whole heap of them behind them and nobody fret, nobody feel no way. In loving. He's a loving guy and he's sharing. He loves to share. And he's a person like this. You just can't send him anywhere. He quickly go. He grew up rough, very rough. Because he have a father there. Mommy, sometimes I have to left a coat not to eat. I may have to leave Gala first and last go dry him after the stool in you know, the back way, you know. And some man go to beat him and I may have to beg for him, you know. He grew up rough and hungry. Hungry and rough, him know. He know what he did to stay in the woods and no heat. He understand? And I'm not looking fasting and prayer, I'm going to get, 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 get back to the girl. Because just like my dad, I have feeling for you, I have feeling for me too. He understand? And everybody make me stay. You understand? Me a feeling for you, I feeling for me too. Come fast and free and go for me. I ask God for you to make me get back to the picnic without the food. So you have mercy upon me too. You understand? No matter what people me say, no matter what people me do. You understand? We are going with justice. One minute and 20 seconds we talk for. One thing alone you say will make sense. We're going with justice. And a one form of justice we know in this case and a jungle justice. We are angling bangle for you, man. No worry yourself. The people never go fix your business. So make sure you get a little funeral money and put together. If not going to have the chance to go behind bars, we get no more bail to come out come do the same thing over and over again. No, 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 no. So all you talk about, you go up on your knees and you pray, you beg this and you beg that. And you want to get the whole community to come, come talk and paint him in a good image. It not going to work. It not going to work. So tell a woman you're going to talk next, say. Eh? Better she never did say nothing. Like, uh, like his other siblings, they were humble children. No trouble as far as we can remember. They were just um, children coming coming and going from school. I can't even remember them getting in fights. Damien, 
in particular I can't remember anything like that very 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 surprised especially for the second one because I was really thinking okay if if he did the first one because we, we saw the, the record the CCTV showing that but for the second one it was really unbelievable it was really really surprising and disappointing if he was really if he's really the person who did that me always come and tell you that you use certain things out of context you see that little thing when you always come and talk about you are my good youth yes when you are the three four and five them time them maybe was a good youth but when he grew up, he grew up to turn monster. So nobody feel like say so you can't come, come pick up for him over upon this platform. No, 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 no. Dirt. One way we say it. Dirt. No other way. So all who feel like saying not forget dirt. Well, let's some next people I tell you saying not forget dirt. Me no want to hear who and him involved. We will catch them at a later date. Make sure them slap him anytime them find him. And nobody go slap him wrong, man. We just need to forget the right pitch I No, Oh, him. Look. You understand? Anyway, now, people, I can tell you something. The more I listen to my people attack, is the more I say the government need to give them one more chance to keep them ritual. Yeah, man. One more chance. Send them back down the sun, the man. Make them keep them ritual. As of them need to get wiped off of this planet. As of them. People can't so be going for a fool. Never make them listen to them out now. He didn't speak highly of women at all. Women, he'd always be, be, um, be derogatory with them, you know, talk about them being whorish and everything. He he spoke about women in a very demeaning way. So the last part of the time I was at the church, I started getting uncomfortable because I'm saying, this doesn't sound like a joke anymore, you know, church is supposed to be uplifting people. He would make comments about, like, anytime they misbehave, he would beat them. So it was stuff like that that made me start questioning. I'm like, why are you beating somebody else's child? He will adopt them from anywhere between two years to even grown persons, like 21 or 22. At one point, he had eight boys living with him. He had a collection of boys living with him. So he doesn't do anything for himself. He doesn't even dress himself for church. He would have the young men put on his jacket, put on his pants, put on his shoes. Whenever he's preaching, someone would go and wipe his face, you know, give him water. Whenever he's walking, even when we had baptism, you know, baptisms are usually done at the seaside, so it's very hot. Somebody would always have an umbrella over his head. When he's going into his car, somebody opens the door. It was very worship-like. I had dated somebody that was close to him in the church, and... We were supposed to spend a day, you know, on the road. He'd be video calling him like five times, you know, wanting to see him, wanting to talk to him, making sure he's always available to him. That was something that I thought was weird about the relationship. But he always talked about him like he was a father to him. It was confusing. I tell us that the parents love likes and sweets. Who in a them right mind? I go send them like a two-year-old. Go and go and live with man and one bag of man. You know, this is a bastard business they must deal with. Train up a child in the way he should grow. And when he's old, he shall not depart from it. And that's the Bible is saying, no. so you know, see the man that trained them in a bastard dress for a long time. Why would he never pick up that? And look for free food and I get a look of freeness and a little likes and a little, yeah. And them look a thing down the love. You understand me? Tell you, no, no, sell on no a soul. Who no sell on no a soul? That's why I'm mean, saying no people. Tell the government, say, let him out and make him finish when he start. And slap with all of them. We don't need them for this land. We have to be no. Tension up a flanker now, people, for the lady with them sacrifice. Yes, because the sister now want come out, come talk exactly where I go under the church. I'm telling you something. No final still a pick up for the pastor, you know. And don't be surprised, people. Don't be surprised with all them color flag there in the church and them something there. Yes, it's somebody that's take you up. Don't be surprised. You may never know. But anyway, the family. Attention. I was in my room sleeping and I hear my daughter crying out, No, no, my daughter, my daughter, go kill my mother, go kill my mother. So I jump up. By the time I jump up off the bed, my niece kicked the door open, she and, she and, and my grandnephew and our friend, she have a lady friend with her. They kicked my door open, come in, start pull me to come out, she helped me by push me down and all of these things. All I saw was our church bishop was sitting on this, the veranda there at the church 
on a chair. He has on a, a white shirt and a black pants. And he was there shouting and praising. And it, while the people kneeled down, left down there on their knees, praying as well. So we could have seen them from outside of the road at the gate. Yeah, so, so that's all I could see. And we were out there worshiping the same way. And he was telling us, directing us to shout hallelujah while he was, he was throwing out some sodas and artificial stuff that we eat. That we eat. I never have a private conversation with my church bishop yet to say that I am close to him and, and to know about his private life or what he's doing or something. The only thing I would know is what he said in church, that's all. Everybody was grieved. Mm -hmm. And to the way how we grieve, we kick off the door and I said, come here, we want to talk to you. Yeah. And me, the day I said, I need information because I'm a mother that, you know, and tell we nothing right. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And every time my auntie go to her, you know, it just come like, say, you know, want to come to me. My auntie not do him, no, my auntie have no weapon or nothing. We not beat her. We just want to sit down and talk to you about every time. We don't go in a fair room. Mm -hmm. In the locky door. And when we do open the door, I must shake that in my hand. In the swing here for my auntie fever. Yes, we did a warn her. But he come like say, the pastor brainwashed him so good, like he have it planned. I actually saw him when they called, took me downstairs from the upstairs at the station, you know. And, and when I saw him, he was sitting on a chair there. He didn't have a no handcuff or nothing. And he said to me, like, you know, my talk to us, he said to me, my daughter, look what they have done to me. You come to look for me. And he was sitting there, normal, me, calm. And I had on my mask and some, and I bowed my head to him. And he said, look at my hand, look what they did to me. And the police was there looking and asking me, is this my bishop? And I said, yes. But it was, why? Well, I, I, what, what? I, said, I said yes, but then I was nervous. I was nervous and and I was looking at him to see if there was anything different about him. But there wasn't anything different looking at him. I didn't ask him no question about my niece though, but I was nervous. I was nervous because of knowing that my niece died and the police told me that it was my pastor who, who actually... Um, they said, ah, oh, they're eating the night.